Oh my freaking god, today is like Christmas, Christmas, Easter and everything all together. Singularity Net, Fetch AI and Ocean Protocol just announced a merger and that they will all work together on the development of AGI. As you can read here on this Business Wire article that I'll link down in the comments, they plan a token merger and close work together. The creation of the largest open source decentralized network through a multi-billion token merger is a major step that accelerates the race to artificial general intelligence. Now moving on down here, as the AI revolution intensifies, it is imperative that AGI and ASA are not owned and controlled by any particular party with their own biased interests. They should be rolled out in an open, democratic and decentralized way. From a tokenomic network that has greater power to take on big tech and shift the center of gravity of the AI world into the decentralized ecosystem. Now I'm not fully sure if they can already shift the center of gravity into the decentralized ecosystem already, but they are working on it. I mean, if we really look at it in the AI space, what do we have? We have Google on the one hand with, with Google Gemini and with Cloud3 and Thropic, which is basically also Google, so to say. And then on the other side, we have Microsoft with OpenAI, ChatGPT, which is basically Microsoft, and also with Pi. Because as you can read here on this recent blog post from Pi, as part of this, we are thrilled to announce that we will now host Inflection 2.5 on Microsoft Azure. Today, we are also announcing that two of our three co-founders, Mustafa and Karen, will be leaving Inflection to start Microsoft AI, a new division at Microsoft that will bring together their consumer AI efforts as well as Copilot, Bing and Edge. So it's all getting more and more focused on these big tech companies, Google, Microsoft, yeah, Meta, Apple, they also play a role. But like the big two at the moment with the AIs that we actually use in day-to-day -day life, ChatGPT, Pi, Cloud3, are Google and Microsoft. So I'm incredibly excited that these three blockchain decentralized AI projects now merge together. Fetch, Singularity Net, and Ocean Protocol. This is amazing. This is so huge, I can't believe it. Like, as I said, this, uh, all my dreams come true, basically. This is what this channel was made for. Of course, there are a lot of open questions that are unanswered. This announcement just dropped like half an hour, 45 minutes ago. So let's go through a few more things here. And first of all, nothing is approved yet. First, the respective communities need to vote on this, right? We are all here in a decentralized democratic process. No one can just say, hey, we are doing this. No, no, the communities have to vote on this first. And as you can see here, Fetch.ai posted on the X account, a governance proposal will also be available to Fed token stakers on the Fetch.ai network, and the other communities will vote on their side regarding this merger. Voting will take place from Tuesday, April 2nd, to April 7th, so in, what's that, in about two weeks. The goal is of course a token merger, so that means the AGIX token, the Fetch AI token, and also the Ocean Protocol token will all merge together in an ASI token. And this ASI token, Artificial Superintelligence, will become the new token of all of these companies. How will that exactly work, you might ask, and I ask myself that as well. Now, here's what we know so far. If the proposal receives majority approval from the respective communities, the following will occur. FED will be rebranded as ASI, with a total supply of 2.6 billion tokens, which makes sense because FED is at the moment the most valuable token, I believe, at three bucks something. AGIX tokens migrate to ASI at a conversion rate of 0.43 roundabout, as well as Ocean tokens for them, it is the same. Now, you maybe have a few questions now, and I do as well. One question is, of course, what happens to my tokens if they are on a centralized exchange? And I think we can answer that pretty easily. If your tokens are on a centralized exchange, such as Binance, Crypto.com, Coinbase, whatever it is, it will probably all happen automatically without you needing to do a single thing. This would be my guess. Everything else would not make any sense at all. 
Now, if you have your tokens in a wallet somewhere, in your own wallet, you probably will need to uh, merge that somehow. You probably need to interact with something. They have not said a lot about this so far, so I cannot say anything about this, but you will probably need to do something. As you can see here, Ocean Protocol on their Twitter stated, on the X stated, holders of locked Ocean, you are taken care of. More details will be released in the next 30 minutes. <laughs> now, I haven't seen the more details yet, but they're also making a Twitter space, an X space in, well, in a few hours. I will definitely join that or listen to the replay if I cannot join it live and I will keep you in the loop. Again, this merger is basically what this channel is made for. So I'll definitely keep you updated on my community wall or if something big happens, I'll make a new update video. You can be sure I'll watch this very, very closely. When it comes to one new ASI token will be worth one at uh, 0 0.43 FED, uh, 0 0.43 AGIX or Ocean Protocol tokens, I think this was probably the rough conversion or probably the exact conversion at the time of the announcement. When the announcement was made, so the conversion from, since FED will be the new token, the conversion from AGIX or Ocean Protocol to FED. I can imagine that this conversion gets adjusted to when the merger happens. But we also don't know how will this merger take place, how long will this merger take, when will it take place. But still, let's have a brief look how the price reacted to this announcement today. And here we are at CoinVacu and at Ocean Protocol. And as you can see, yes, the price after this announcement made a huge spike. Now we'll see if it goes back down. It probably adjusts now a little bit, but you can see this huge spike here from 122 to, uh, what do we have here? 160. And Singularity Net also made a huge spike from 119 all the way up to 134 and it's actually still still growing to 135 and we can see the same with fetch ai so let's see the announcement was probably right about here so we have 283 all the way up to three dollars and thirty cents and we'll see if this is like sell immediately but i don't think so because there's so much fundamentals behind this and again, now we actually have the biggest AI blockchain companies merging together to take on big tech. And I mean, their combined token value will be around about 7.5 billion, which is like a crazy huge mind boggling number, but of course still tiny compared to the big tech giants. But now they really have substance behind it. And they probably now actually finally have a shot to take them on. And yes, the goal of this merger is to launch a decentralized neural symbolic AGI system with globally superior capabilities in key areas like logical and scientific reasoning and artistic creativity. Which then probably would be Hyperon. If you have seen my videos about Hyperon, you know that Hyperon basically has a central centralized atom space, or not centralized, but Anyway, but the atom space in, in, the mid, in the center and with this atom space, every other approach to AGI can communicate with it. So it's basically the central hub and they can basically all merge together around this. So this is a great foundation to merge them all together. Now, the question still is, when alpha? When can we finally test Hyperon? When can we finally use Hyperon in the alpha? It was announced a few months ago that it should be in March, March is almost over, so I and we all here are very excited, when can we finally use Hyperon? And I'm telling you, if say bring out Hyperon and it's good, like just imagine Hyperon is as good or even better as ChatGPT. If we have a decentralized AI, AGI system or future AGI system that is better, as, better than ChatGPT, Imagine what will happen to the value of the tokens and the companies. I think we could be on the verge of something very, very big here. But of course, we'll have to see how everything plays out. And for now, there are still a lot of open questions here that need to be answered. Beginning with what, what will happen to my tokens? Will, will they converse? Do I have to convert them? 
uh, how will this all work? And also the question of on what blockchain are you building? Are you building on Ethereum? One thing that I really love about AGIX is that AGIX since a few years already working on Cardano compatibility. Cardano, of course, I love Cardano much more than Ethereum. The transaction costs are much lower uh, and Cardano, in my opinion, is just a better product. So I am very excited to hear or very interested to hear what blockchain all of this will be built on. Will they stick with Ethereum? Will they merge to Cardano? Will they go to another blockchain? Will, will they build their own? I don't think so because none of these projects have been working on that, but we'll see. As I said, I'll definitely keep you updated on all of this. I am freaking excited. This is huge, huge news. And if you don't know what Hyperon is or how Hyperon works, which will most likely, like 99% sure, be the hub on where this AGI will be built on, you should check out the video right over here where I break down Hyperon, how it works, and how it's different from an LLM approach. I'll see you right over there. Oh on my community wall or in the next video about this topic. Have a great day.